Alrighty, everyone, welcome back to DSP versus the Internet. This is episode 48 for the 21st of January, 2024. We have one more Ultra submission to get through. <clears throat> then I'm going to open up that standard members playlist and see what videos you guys uh, put into the rotation for me this week. All right. But we got one more to go through. Let's watch this first. Taking such a holy weapon would be diabolical indeed, but the consequences disastrous. What did it say? Take the mace anyway. What's the worst that could happen? I missed the other one. I didn't see what the second one said. <clears throat> uh. Oh, so are you telling me that device that we saw that was near those two eagles at the monastery was a device that's activated by that mace? Is that true? <clears throat> now, in what case does that happen? Because we took that mace in the last stream, and this didn't happen. So I guess this happens in a certain situation, but not another. But we didn't have that happen to us. We took it, and it didn't. that didn't happen. So I guess this is a different situation or something, right? It's not a spoiler, guys. I already have the mace. I already have the mace, so I already, I've already gotten out of this area and we're done with it so this situation that's happening here didn't happen to me uh i had the crest unlike this oh so you're saying if i hadn't solved the puzzle the four weapons puzzle right and got the crest then i would have when i, I still, still could have gotten that mace but then this would have happened okay The whole monastery blows up? Yeah, look! The whole monastery blows up. Then thou must return with the proper payment. Is it? Well counted. By doom and dusk, I strike thy name from the archives. Rise. She stole it back. She stole the money back. What in the sweet hells were you thinking? Activating that lot. I was right there. Gods. Do you have any idea how much that hurt? Well, apparently there's a limit. It's somewhere between a nice summer's day and the full concentrated power of the sun. To Excuse me. That was the least you could do after dropping a building on me. T next time. No, no, no. If there is a next time, I'll be the one aiming the all-powerful weapon. Thank you. <sighs> Although, I do appreciate you trying to fix your mistake. Just don't do it again. Now, shall we go? What's funny about this, though, <clears throat> is you see, like, they're all wearing crazy shit. And I think that's Shadowheart, and you notice she's different. So this isn't even what happens in this part of the game, right? In this part of the game, none of this has happened yet. Like, he doesn't... Like, that armor, I don't even know what the hell that is. And we've done all the good stuff, so I don't know where I could have gotten that from. And her, she looks completely different. That didn't happen, right? <laughs> so I don't know how, that, how any of this would have happened. It looks like she went Super Saiyan or something, right? I guess that's part of her plot later. But, like, why is that happening now? That shouldn't have even happened. Oh, people are saying it's mods. People are modding on PC and making people look different and stuff. That's what it is? Ah. But why make a mod? That's stupid then. Why make a mod video? I like, like, the video is, I get it, why people would like that video. But why make it a mod? Why mod it then? Just do it, like, standard, like it should be. I don't know. Anyway, all right. What we need to do now is we need to set up the standard playlist. All right, let me do that quick. We need to set up the standard playlist and get that going with a random order. Let's go back here. I'm hitting shuffle and I don't think it's shuffling. So let me try again. Okay, now it's shuffling. Okay. Here we go. Cool. 
All right, I think we're good. All right, so we have switched over from ultra member submissions to standard member. So this is everyone who's a standard member of the channel has an equal opportunity to submit a clip and get it watched. All right, and this is a random order playlist. So we'll see how this goes. And if we uh, get to the end of the playlist, I'll probably go to the beginning. If we want to hit randomize again, we could do that. We'll see how, how, you know, how long that takes. And just for clarification purposes, I have to redo the way this channel works probably starting this week because of stupid YouTube exploits and troll activities. But rest assured, if you're a supporter of this channel and you are paying for your membership and it is a, you know, a membership level that you're, you're going to still be able to submit videos for the same cost you always have. The memberships on this channel, I think, were always three ninety nine, dollars And for three ninety nine, you'll still be able to submit clips for the show. All right? I just need to fix things because people found this exploit on YouTube where you can gift an unlimited memberships for, like, zero cost. And it's, it's breaking channels. This channel's formula needs to change now to adjust to that. But I will fix that this week. Okay? I'll make sure that it still works moving forward. For those who are actually paid supporters, I want you to get your your perks out of the membership okay so i'll just adjust it on the fly i'll probably have to make a quick video or an explanation of that at some point this week so fyi if you're someone who always posts videos for this show and you're wondering hey where's the thread to do it this week it might take a couple extra days for me to get that set up all right fair enough <clears throat> okay cool but in the meantime our first standard member submission bizarre 911 unveiling the most ridiculous emergency calls let's see what we've got have you ever wondered what are some of the stupidest 911 calls? Well, let me tell you, Wait, the world- Wait, 911 calls? Did they seriously just say that? Is this an AI voice? It doesn't know the difference between dialing 911 or the number 911? I think it's an AI voice. Never ceases to amaze. While 911 is a lifeline- 911? part of our society that has saved Who countless says that? lives- it has also been the recipient of some, let's say, less than urgent calls. Picture this. It's a quiet night, the calm voice of an operator ready to address any emergency. And then someone calls in to complain about a cold burger at a fast food joint. Sounds hard to believe, right? Yet, situations like these are more common than you might think. Today, we're going to explore That's some of the stupid. most mind-boggling, ludicrous calls that 911 operators have had the- Stop saying 911, um, you're driving me nuts, fielding. man. So buckle up. Don't say Ready that again. To dive into the world of absurd 911 Don't calls. Don't say it 911. Yourself. It's going to be a wild ride. He's, this is like off our countdown Dude, at seriously with him saying it like that and again I think it's an AI voice. That's like nails on a chalkboard. 911 calls? No. 911. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay. 10. We have an unusual request for fast food delivery. Picture this. A hungry citizen in the middle of the night decides to dial 911. Now you might be thinking was there a burglar? A fire? No. This individual had a craving. A craving so intense that they thought it warranted an emergency call. What? You see, this person, in their infinite wisdom, dialed 911 because they were hungry and wanted a hamburger delivered straight to their door. What? As you can imagine, the dispatcher was quite taken aback. But, of course, they reminded the caller that 911... This is fake, so there's not even... It's not even a real call. He just made it up. No wonder this video has 251 views. He just made it up. There's no call. It's just, oh, this is a situation that could happen. Well, it's terrible. Well, fuck that. We're going to the next video. <clears throat> Seltzer water. What is it? Where does it come from? And most importantly, why am I so addicted to this stuff? Sparkling water has taken over my life and I need to find out what's going on. What do you do when you want to find something out? You call the library. I don't see where our system has anything on that. I'm literally drinking a sparkling water beverage right now, cherry limeade. I drink it all day, every day on my streams. So that way I, I can get some flavor, but I also stay hydrated. And I'm not pumping my body full of sugar that rots my teeth. I'm not getting caffeine, so I'm not screwing my body up in that regard. And there's no calories in this. <clears throat> zero calories. I think the entire container has 10 calories because uh, it does have a tiny bit of artificial sweetener in it and citric acid. A little bit of citric acid. But for the most part, it's much better than drinking anything that has like sugar and stuff in it, right? So I drink it all day. There you go. Alright. 
So I would suggest Googling seltzer water. You'll find all sorts of information. Carbonated water may help with constipation among people Ooh. who have had a stroke. All right. What? All right, so obviously I'm not the first person to enjoy seltzer water and want to share that with the world. It's a nice There's mountain behind There's already a ton it. of great what informative seltzer content out there available in video form already. But this one is about me and my experience and my addiction to seltzer water. Addictions have negative consequences. Part of the negative consequences of this addiction is trips to the bathroom, okay? I have to pee a lot. One time I had to pee so bad I stopped at a public restroom. I st I need seltzer. I need seltzer in my life. I can admit it. I need a seltzer daily. In fact, more than one. I need a seltzer almost constantly. And that's a problem. What? When I get what is close it? to running out. What is the purpose of this video? <clears throat> He's literally just cutting to different scenes of him saying he's addicted to seltzer water. <laughs> what is this? I don't... These are the weirdest video. First, we had a n calling 911 to make a prank call or whatever, but there's no evidence that it ever happened. It's just them talking about it. And now we have this guy who's just literally cutting around saying that he's addicted to seltzer water. What are these videos? Uh, Alex from Phoenix asked, does, does sugar gross you out? Did you cut out all sweet? No, 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 no. It's not that sugar grosses me out. It's that sugar, number one, is empty calories. If you have sugar with food, that's one thing. If you're just drinking sugar constantly in a drink, there's you don't need that. And number two, as you get older, <clears throat> you'll find out that your teeth don't like sugar anymore. The older you get, the more sensitive your teeth actually get. So if I was just drinking sh like soda all day, my teeth would legit hurt me by the end of the day. So I don't drink that. I, you know, This other stuff doesn't affect it like that. What is in this? Asp is it aspartame? Uh, yeah, aspartame is in this. So there you go. Is there any more to this video, or is he literally just going to say nonstop that he's addicted to seltzer water? Seltzer, I panic, and I buy more seltzer. I don't even run out anymore. I haven't run out in weeks. As my addiction was getting worse and worse, I found something that might help me beat it. I was walking in the woods yesterday and I found this water bottle. What? And I could see this being the end of my canned seltzer days. You because stole a water bottle you found it in the woods? Just not sustainable. <clears throat> what? I was on the right track, but it wasn't long before I was back on the cans. I just got back from a day trip to the beach. Let's see how many seltzers I drank. Five. And I'm still working on one. With no hope in sight, I reached out to friends to get their take on seltzer water. Do you remember the first time you had a seltzer water? The, like, the one time that, like, seltzer water really, like, punched me in the face. I found a, a can of liquid death by chance at a corner store uh, called the Coog Mart. And, oh my god, I just remember, like, I don't know. It was just a uh, exciting... Uh, feeling I had and it wasn't like soda where like you get a certain type of dopamine as a kid from like sugar but seltzer water just is something entirely different from that you know what I mean one time when I was a kid I don't know if it was seltzer or one of the other sparkling water what are we watching what is this they're talking about seltzer like it's a serious drug addiction it's just fucking flavored water with carbonation in it Next video. <laughs> what are we watching? What the fuck? This is a PlayStation 3. It's dead. It has the yellow light of death. Oh. The PS3 I had version that. of the 360's red ring. Yep. These old fat models have become somewhat notorious for breaking down normally due to GPU issues. It's a model that came out just after PS2 backwards compatibility was removed. That's what so I had. while it can be fixed, it's not worth fixing. I've been wanting to replay a few of my old PS3 games, so I recently purchased a slim model. These models tend to be more reliable than the old fat ones. I never had a slim. In general, I think they have a much better design than this Spider-Man font using... I... I basically had a, the PS3 that came out right after PS2 backwards compatibility was removed, which was within like a year of its launch. 
I guess they realized it was too expensive to have it in there. So they sold it as a launch feature and then removed it from the console right away, which is pretty fucked up that they did that, honestly. Um, and so mine, I had for a very long time. I had my PS3, <clears throat> what was it, 2008? All the way through, um, I think it was right before I moved out here, or maybe it was right after I moved out here. I'm trying to remember exactly. <clears throat> but it was a while. It was like at least like five or more years I used it. And that's what I used for all, you know, games. It was that or my Xbox 360. And then I, exactly what happened to him, I had the yellow light. And it just wouldn't turn on anymore. At one point, like the graphics card, I guess, fries in there or something. And that's it. So then I got, I got another one. And that was a refurbished one. I got that one from GameStop, a refurbished PS3. And that's the one that I used like another five plus years until like around 2019, 2020. It, basically, I went to hook it up in order to do, like, I wanted to play an old game on there from PSN, like, maybe in a PS1 game. So I hooked it up, and it said, your system needs a system update. <clears throat> I was like, okay. So I did it. I did the system update over the internet, and it boots back, and now it just never works on PSN ever again. It claims that there's no connection to PSN, and I'm like, you did a firmware update, and you bricked the Ethernet port in the console by doing an, Ethernet, by doing an update. Wow, that's a great update, huh? So now I have no working PS3s. I can't get online at all. So I'm done with it. I never had a Slim. This one I got... I think the Slim was out when I got this one, but this one was cheaper or whatever. <clears throat> so there you go. So that's my story anyway. So orange box on PS3. Let's see. This is not the best way to play it. <clears throat> Orange Box is great. I had it on 360 and loved it. Through any I had it both on 360 and then later I got it on PC. It's a great collection. This game. <clears throat> There's a bit of a story behind this, so let us go back to 2006. The PS3 did not have a fun time early on. Its notoriously embarrassing E3 press conference spawned many memes. It's Ridge Racer! Ridge Racer! And its cell architecture, despite its power, proved to be very challenging and difficult for many developers at the time. The One of these developers was Mr. Valve himself, Gabe Newell. The PlayStation 3 makes my We've seen a lot of Gabe Newell today. It's his second appearance already on the show. Interesting. Well, we see him a third time. That would be remarkable if he shows up in yet another video. We'll see. The software developer much harder. All of a sudden, I'm supposed to figure out how to have this asymmetrical, multi-threaded game, <laughs> right? And I've never written a single line of multi-threaded code ever, right? It's not like I was like lying awake saying, I need to re-architect every line of code I've ever written in order to get it to work. Gabe stated that the cell architecture was a waste of everyone's time. <laughs> nice. And that investing in its use had no long-term <clears throat> benefits and would only create a hatred for the architecture by the developers working on it. His distaste for it was so strong, Valve handled the PS3 port of the OB over to EA and handled the Xbox 360 version themselves in-house. Oh wow, I didn't even Gabe know that. Gabe used to work for Microsoft who owns Xbox, so I have a feeling some of the dislike towards PlayStation may be have some camaraderie towards his old workplace. As you'll soon see, there's quite a few issues with the PS3 version of the box. This article in late November by BitTech about a one-up article I can't find yeah. implies this version of the box presented to them was barely playable. But this article around the same time from IGN shows that the port had issues, but it was at least playable. Regardless, while the Xbox and PC got the box on the 10th of October 2007, it took EA till the 11th of huh, December to finish months. and release the PS3 port. I believe this is part of the reason why three years later in 2010, Gabe appeared to have a change of heart, and Valve handled the port of Portal 2. Hi, my name is Gabe Newell and I work at Valve. Um, now I've been pretty outspoken in my comments about the current generation of game consoles. <laughs> this game got one update. I actually didn't know what this patch fixed until recently. Apparently there was a Steam forums thread for the PS3 patch, but I can't find an archive of it. 
after all the starting logos, we're given the choice of what game from the box you want to play. Each with a small yeah, I remember this menu. background to show off the game. It's cool. Similar to the Xbox version. Starting off with the Half-Life 2 games, the first thing I remember is the load times. Yeah, load times were a big Honestly, problem with well, this console bad, again. They really were. They're not as bad as I remember. <clears throat> the next thing I never picked up on because this was my first experience with Half-Life 2 is how weirdly pitched G-Man sounds. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> Rise and shine. Why is he higher pitched on PS3? <laughs> Judge Doom, that's great. In fact, a lot that's of the great. sounds are pretty often pitch. The weird thing is, some sounds are pitched up and other sounds are normal. This goes for all the games in the box. Huh. Also, every now and then, the audio gets all crinkly. Oh, yeah, you hear that? It's like fuzzy sound. <clears throat> Is that not the bit rate is fucked up? I think it is. Playing an FPS game with a controller is not fun. I've been playing a lot of Splatoon 3 and going from gyro aiming to stick aim is tricky at the best of times. This guy doesn't like playing FPS on controller? What the hell? The frames per second are section Controllers 30. are fine for FPS games. The field of view is <clears throat> low, about 75 I think. I've heard lower FOV is better for console gaming. But to me, it just feels weird. The resolution is limited to 720p. I think a lot of this is the same for the 360 version. So this is more yeah, of a Yeah, the game was 720p on 360 complaint. as well. Keep, keep in mind, this is <clears throat> two console gens ago. A lot of people weren't even buying 1080p TVs yet. It wasn't until, you know, that era of PS4, Xbox One, that 1080p became like the standard for video games. So, yeah. Motion blur is enabled by default, meaning moving fast does the screen covered in petroleum jelly. I use motion blur sometimes. The overlay is terrible. Look at that shit. Map series, but it feels really amped up for some reason. Half Life and Episode One run at a constant frame rate, <clears throat> but Episode Two constantly dips below thirty. Not always slideshow bad, but still bad. Yeah. But you know what? It's not all bad. Episode 1 and 2 both have developer commentary available, and the games are playable. <laughs> it's not like they crash every 10 minutes. I mean, these flawed versions of the games are how I first experienced them. I think that just goes to show how good these games are overall. Half-Life 2 on the PS3 was the first person shooter that convinced me there was more to FPS games than brown colored Call of Duty clones. Come on, Gordon, crank that thing. Yeah, it's an awesome game. So many cool puzzles and everything in it. Great. Portal's great. I don't really want to watch this whole video. It's a lot. It's just about the orange box. It's a great collection if you've never checked it out. I don't even know if you can even get it anymore. But it was unique because all those games were very popular and sold separately on PC. And to package them all into one game and sell them as one complete package on console was really nice. So that way console players basically got like the best of Valve all in one package. And just think about that. They're all first person games, but they're all completely different. You've got an action based, narrative based puzzle platformer. Then you've got a pure puzzle game in Portal. And then you've got complete action and team based combat online Team Fortress too, right? Like those are all great games. And <clears throat> the funny part about it is after that collection came out, then they had Portal 2 and that was it. Like, they just decided to just do 100% go into Steam as a publisher. And what have they done since besides, what was it, Half-Life VR? That's it. So, it sure would be great if they go back to ma making good games instead of rolling in money. But I guess that's what happens. You know? You get you get rich, you don't have to do nothing anymore. It's pretty sad. All right, let's see what's next. What? Hello, potion seller. What the fuck? I am going into battle, and I want your strongest potions. My potions are too strong for you, Traveler. <laughs> what potions the hell is this? 
I tell you I'm going into battle, and I want only your strongest potions. <laughs> you can't handle my potions. <laughs> They're too strong for you. <sighs> Potion seller, listen to me. <laughs> I want only your strongest even he, Even he can't stop laughing at himself. My potions would kill you, Traveler. Oh my god. You cannot handle my <laughs> potions. Potion seller, enough of these games. I'm going into battle. <laughs> and I need your strongest Enough potions. of these games. <laughs> my strongest potions will kill you, Traveler. <laughs> you can't handle my strongest potions. You better go to a seller that sells weaker potions. <laughs> Potion seller, I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I'm going into battle, and I need only your strongest potions. You don't know what you ask, traveler. <laughs> My strongest potions will kill a dragon. <laughs> it's like an hour. You need a seller <laughs> that sells weaker potions. <laughs> because my potions are too strong. <laughs> Potion seller, I'm telling you, I need your strongest potions. I'm going into battle. I'm going to battle and I need your strongest <laughs> potions. You can't handle my strongest potions. Oh my god. No one can. My strongest potions are fit for a beast, let alone a man. Potion seller, what do I have to tell you to get your potions? He's, he teared up and there was a tear on his trust nose. You with your strongest potions, potion seller. <laughs> I need them if I'm to be successful in the battle. I can't give you my strongest potions because my strongest potions are only for the strongest beings and you are of the weakest. You're of the weakest! <laughs> well, then that's it, potion seller. I'll go elsewhere. I'll go elsewhere for my potions. That's what you'd better do. <laughs> I'll go elsewhere for my potions and I'll never come back. Good. You're not welcome here. My potions are only for the strongest and you're clearly <laughs> not of the strongest. You're clearly the weakest. You've had your say, potion setter, but I'll have mine. You're a rascal. <laughs> you're a rascal with no respect for <laughs> You're a rascal. No respect A bastard for rascal, you. Except your potions. I should give you a right brushing right now. <laughs> Why respect knights <clears throat> when my potions can do anything that you can? Oh my God! One time when that was something else. What the heck? And that's an old video. People were saying that's old. Hold on a second. How old is that? It's about thirteen years old. Eleven million views. The, just the simplest idea. And it was actually legit funny and well acted. That was a, that, I, I, as stupid as that video is. I found that funny, right? That that video is twenty times better than any of the junk that we've seen. The oh staged break a console, break my fucking stove, right? Stay oh let someone in line buy me food and see if I can eat it challenge, bury myself underground challenge. That video is better than any of that. And it's the, the simplest thing, right? That's like comedy, talent, and acting versus some jackass staging some crap, right? And that was pretty good. All right. Let's end this part. We're halfway through. DSP versus the internet for this week. I hope that you guys are enjoying the show. I am. I can't wait to see what else you have in store for me. And I'll be back s shortly with more 9-11 calls. Or hopefully not. All right. See you in the next part.